All right, I'm David Harry, and in this quick little video, I'm going to just check to see if the adapter for the Pocket is indeed stereo, or at least if it's wired to be capable of doing stereo via two channels. So what we need to do is identify two things. One, does it supply voltage to the tip and the ring, which is left and right? And two, are they bridged or not? Now that doesn't necessarily tell us that it can do stereo, but it will tell us if they are indeed two individual channels, which is what would be required to do stereo recording. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to switch my multimeter into DC voltage. So we are now about to check for direct current voltage. So what I'm gonna do is switch on the pocket. And then what I'm gonna do is check for the tip first. So here we go. As we can see there, hold on. We're there about 2.6, 2.63 volts. Then that's settling on 2.63. Now I'll check for the tip, sorry, the ring. So there we go, 2.62, 2.63. Let me just double check them again, so tip, Okay, 2.62, 2.63, and then ring again. Okay, 2.63. So what we're seeing there is that the tip has definitely got a plus voltage of 2.62, 2.63, and the ring has definitely got a voltage of 2.62, 2.63. Now, that's just telling us that both of them have got a plus voltage being applied to them. It doesn't necessarily tell us that they are independent though. So what we need to do is double check to see if they're shorted out. Now if they're shorted out, that would mean that the normalized at the actual adapter or the pocket itself is normalizing them. And if they are normalized, then that means that they are just a single channel being split across tip and ring with the same voltage obviously being across both of them. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna switch me meter. So we're now checking for shorts. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna just touch these on tip and ring and if these are indeed normalized and they are shorted in the actual socket itself or even if the pocket controls that we should hear a beep okay so as we can't hear we can't hear a beep so what that's telling us is that tip and ring are definitely not normalized so that is also telling us that tip and ring, because we now see that there's two different voltages or there's two voltages going to either of them, one each, and we can not hear a beep when I try to short them or normalize them. It's telling us that the socket itself doesn't normalize. So what I will do just to prove that point, here's a lavalier and inside the lavalier, tip and ring are normalized. And the reason why you would have that, say on this lavalier or most lavaliers really, is because you would want the audio to go to left and right simultaneously. So that's the reason why a lot of TRS lavaliers have their T and R or the tip and the ring or poles one and poles two. That's why they would be normalized. So what we should hear now is a distinct buzz when we do this. There we go. So distinct buzz there, and no buzz there. Okay, so just quickly, let me just sum up what this means. This lavalier is designed to work across left and right or tip and ring by normalizing the tip and the ring or poles one and poles two or left and right. Whereas the pocket's adapter is definitely two discrete independent inputs, both of which are supplying a plus voltage of there about 2.6 volts. Now, as it stands right now, the pocket itself doesn't record stereo, which is, you know, obviously we need two channels to record stereo. So although it definitely has two channel capability or two discrete channels, although it has that, it definitely isn't recording stereo at the moment. And I say at the moment, because it may well be something that gets unlocked or updated or fixed or whatever the terminology is, it may well happen further down the line with a software update. Um, but like I say, we've definitely identified here with the fact 
that the adapter is definitely got two discrete channels on it. Okay, so I think that's probably all I need to do with this particular test. So once and for all, yes, the adapter is capable of stereo, or at the minimum, it's capable of two independent discrete channels. It's just at present, it's not wired that way, or it's not set up that way. And maybe that is configurable via software further down the line. Okay, so there we go. If anyone was ever wondering what the score is with all this, there you have it. Okay, so yeah, if you found this video interesting anyway, if you check the descriptions in my YouTube stuff and whatnot, you'll find the links to like my playlist and what have you. Uh, to you know more and more of these videos to do with the pockets anyway yeah so i think that's probably this video done and dusted really don't need to discuss any more about this i think it's been proved conclusively now okay so my name's david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now